What's up, YouTube? Tiger. Be part one video series discussing cane poles, telescope and poles. It's going to cover setup and rigging the uh, telescope and pole eyelet style. Being in Black Widow, 10 footer, pretty easy to find at most retailers. Got off your rubber end caps holding the midpiece. Underneath that is going to be the tip, which contains the eyelet. You're ready to fish tackle, pretty common. It's gonna be 10 or 20 pound mono, number four or number six hook, slip bobber, and a pinch style slider weight. You're gonna need to de spool the entire thing. Pull the hook out, let it drop. Put the hook down here. about 30 foot of line. That's all you need for a 10 foot pole. Whatever the length of the pole, I multiply it times three. That's it, that's the max line. So I got my monofilament in. Okay, so there's your eyelet. There's your monofilament. Thread it just like a needle. Pull the, pull the loose end right through. That's how it should look. Do not tie it. I'm going to extend the pole. When you extend your pole, once it's tight, it's tight. Don't pull it super tight. That's how you damage the pole. Still got the loose end. I'm going to run it out. Got a front stay, rear stay. We're going to tie it with just a standard cross knot to the rear stay. So, thread it right through the hole, bring it up, it's just like tying your shoes, so around, through the loop one time, that's it, don't need to knot this on here, it'll make it easier if you want to deline the pole between each trip, which I do, okay, so, so you're, you're, you're loose at the eyelet now. So the way you're going to wind it is take it up to the top stay, click it down, and the bottom stay. I'm holding that loose end. Top stay, bottom stay. Just keep going. Okay, and I always leave it at the top stay when I'm fishing, so. What you need to do is you need to line that eyelet up with your brackets. So, set it on the ground with the brackets aiming up, and make sure the eyelet, which is just a ring, is square with these eyelets, so like that. Not twisted sideways or canted, it needs to be straight up and down with your stays. Let's make sure the line is right through that, nice and even. Okay, so now when I pull the line, the bobber goes up and down. And that's how you want to fish it. So, if I'm fishing a hole, you're going to pull it up a little bit, extend out to your fishing position, drop it right down. Same thing if I get a fish on, I'm just going to grab the line, pull it up out of the water as quickly as possible so it doesn't get into cover, lift him up with the pole bring him in. It's that simple. A note on slip bobbers. When you're rigging a slip bobber, a lot of people will thread the line straight through and then they've, they've got a bobber 
that's just all loose. It's not going to hold the hook up. So you thread the bobber on your line, not through the plastic piece, and then just slide the plastic piece on to keep it at the height you want to fish at. Typically I'll fish from eight to two foot, depending on the depth of the water. About a foot is average, so if I want to move it, pull the plastic up, add a little more line, slide the plastic piece back in, and you're ready to go. You can do the same thing with the slip shot, and slide it up and down. About six inches is about average, that's what I like to fish, it doesn't spook the fish and it keeps the bait down low. Another tip when you're using a rod with stays is I like always to make sure that I'm in the top stay. That that's where the tension is. So when you get a fish on, you're going to hear that sound. It's going to pop the top stay. So it's kind of like a little alarm. Fish will grab it, bend the rod, pop it out of the top stay. And then when you have a fish on, you use the rod to lift the fish out of the water. I don't typically fight the fish with the rod. I'll keep one finger underneath the line. So I'll, I'll fight the fish with the line about 50% and then I'll lift with the rod. Hope that was helpful, YouTube. Good luck. Happy fishing.